Today on Play to Win, Super Bowl 53 is finally here. We've got you guys covered on the breakdown, the storylines, and more. Also hear what our panel thinks about this year's quarterback draft class. And did Kirby Smart just get endorsed by arguably the best NFL head coach ever? That and more on the fastest 30 minutes in television, football's Play to Win. Today's show is being brought to you by Mellow Mushroom, Atlanta Peach Movers, and the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Welcome to football's Play to Win with Falcons All-Pro defensive end Chuck Smith, Falcons All-Pro offensive tackle Bob Whitfield, Play to Win expert Jeffrey The Edge Schechter, player medical and injury reports with Dr. Sadiq El Amin, and your host, Nikki Williams. Today's hometown team report is brought to you by Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers, a higher order of pizza for your tailgating events. Good morning, Atlanta. We got pizza for breakfast yep. out here. We're super excited. Everything we need for the big game is right here in front of us. Bob Whitfield, Terrence Mathis, Chuck Smith, we're all here Good today. Morning. I can't believe this is our last show of the season. But we're going to do it with a lot of excitement here. It's Super Bowl is in town. Good There's game. a lot of stuff going on. You guys have been players living in Atlanta when a Super Bowl has come to town. What's that whole week like? What'd Utopia. You? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Utopia. No, let me tell you what the Super Bowl is for former players. It's a convention. It's I mean, basically, it's like the convention yes. where all the players come together, right? I mean, it that's, is. That's the it best is. way to describe it. Yeah, you see guys that you haven't seen in years whatsoever, guys you've played against, some of the guys that you have admired. And looked up to over the years, you get a chance to see. So Bunch of old heads <laughs> out there on the town. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. old guys. Uh, you see the Hall of Famers, guys that might be in the Hall of Fame. So it's, it's an exciting experience to see your former guys, former players, and even some current players. And some of the guys that whooped him, and some of the guys <laughs> that whooped me, and some of the guys Not, we all whooped. But hey. there's only very few, buddy. Right, very well, few. That's your story, oh, and I'm you gonna let it stand there. Being super nice to each other today, I like it. Well, let's shift our focus over to the game: Brady versus Golf. <laughs> Some would say we just trust Brady in a game like this, but let's take a look at some of Goff's stats. He's been a little sharper throughout the season. Do we take that into consideration? No, we do not. We don't take that into consideration because this is the second season right here, and this is where it counts. And Brady has been the best player in the playoffs over the last 10 years or so. So you don't take that into account that just because uh, a Goff had a good end of the season, that means nothing because the, it's on the line right now, and we know Brady – performs when the game is on the line. How about the O-line? Do you have one that you prefer, Bob? I mean, I prefer them both because they're both quality <laughs> offensive line guys. And I don't hate to pick between the two, but if you see their cohesion that David Andrews has with that line in Patriots in the center position is where he controls where that blitz is picking up and all that. So he has those guys reeled in, and you got two good running backs. So I think the line's going to be kind of close matchup, but I give the edge to New England. I get it. You can't talk bad about anybody. Everybody's in town. Y'all are seeing all your old friends. Can the Pats block Aaron Donald? No. I mean, I'm mean, just calling it how Tell it is. Tell him how you really no, feel. Right, but no, seriously. One man can't block Aaron Donald, but an offensive line can. The best blueprint to blocking Aaron Donald is the Philadelphia Eagles game, okay? When you go back, he struggled. Get, well, he didn't really struggle. They double teamed him. They choked out on him. They did all kind of different schemes, Nikki, but you can stop him, but can you stop him with the Dominican suit? Can you stop him with the defensive line that is you know playing at a complete level. So I, me personally, I think Aaron Donald and Dominic Sue are going to absolutely have an incredible game and be the story when it's all said and done. I can't do anything hungry. Are you guys? I can't smell this mellow mushroom for two more seconds without oh. eating it. Got my plate well, ready. We got it all right in front of us right now. We can't have a game right. day without mellow mushroom. Yeah. What's up, Melly Mel? So look. Today, yeah. we're going to have some uh, melon mushroom, but check this out. Tomorrow on Super Bowl Sunday, we're going to have a Super Bowl party, and it's my wife's birthday, so oh, happy birthday. we already got it set up. We already got our delivery set up. And I got good news. You don't even have to deal with people, because people can be super weird. You can just order online, mellowmushroom.com slash order. You can just get it done right there on the couch. I mean, it's that's great. the best way to do it, because you know what? This is the busiest weekend. For, I think wings. Now I'm throwing this. It's 1.38 billion. Pizza and wings. Now I'm, yes. So mellow mushrooms, obviously the best. You know, I mean that you can get. Now I'm throwing out a stat. I'm throwing out stats now. Oh, but now, but I can tell you this right now. This is the busiest weekend and best weekend to get pizza and shove it down your throat. Pizza yeah. and wings. 1.38 billion wings consumed on a Super Bowl oh, yeah, Sunday. Girl, look at you, look big at brain. You. 
big numbers girl no so i'm pumped because we are going to eat pizza for breakfast and mm. lunch and dinner and then if we have any leftover i won't if I'm bob's with me at the house <laughs> too, early. too early for me i'm eating carrots <laughs> all right guys after the break we're going to continue to look at the matchup between the pats and the rams and shift our focus over to the backfield where it's dog versus dog which former uga running back will have the bigger game our guys will break it down for you next on play to win Fuel your football. Come to Mellow Mushroom for craft brews, fresh cocktails, and stone-baked pizzas. Or Mellow at your own home game. Tailgating? No matter who wins, it's always Mellow for the win. Fuel your football with Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers. This is it. <laughs> Hi, sleepyhead. Hey, man, on campus, oh. just dropping by for a little weekend hang time. Mm. Smaller than I thought. Um, do I know you guys? Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do you know the people who sent you to college? <laughs> How's the GPA? Uh, 4.0. Nobody's perfect. Janet, huh? what are you doing? Sorry, so disorganized. <laughs> He's not three years old anymore. Play the Georgia Lottery and help students go to college on the Hope Scholarship. They may not be your kids, but it kind of feels that way. I'm here with the Cortezes, Lawson, Carnivales at their family reunion to show them the family of Chevy SUVs. This is the Trax, the Equinox, and the Traverse. Which one's your favorite? The Trax, actually. More compact. Equinox is jumping out at me. The blue one. The red one. And I would take that Traverse. No matter what you want in an SUV, Chevy's got the perfect one for you. You got it covered. Qualified lessees can lease this well-equipped Chevy Equinox for around $219 a month. Or get $4,500 total cash allowance on select Equinox vehicles in stock when you purchase and finance with GM Financial. Mm, 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 mm. When the food is so delicious, you make noise. Bring on the noise. This is it. Back by popular demand, this is it barbecue and seafoods, two for 27. Two entrees, four sides, two drinks, two desserts, two for 27. Order online now. Check in, look here. You should have stayed an egg, homie. Today's NFL Road to the Super Bowl is being brought to you by your Georgia Drive Chevy dealers. Find new roads. Welcome back to Play to Win. We got a couple of dogs in the backfield here with this Super Bowl. Who needs to have the bigger game? Todd Gurley or hmm. Sony Michelle? Hmm, I think I'm going to take Sony. Yes. Why? Because I think Sony balances out what Tom Brady does in that offense. Sonny Michelle can be your primary run runner. You can bring James White in as your primary pass catcher out the backfield. So that two-headed monster at running back for New England is Sonny Michelle and James White versus C.J. Anderson and Gurley. I like Sonny Michelle, what he does with running the ball. Gurley said he taught, he taught Sonny everything he knows when he came to Georgia. <laughs> but Sonny is perfect for New England. He runs, he catches the ball, and Gurley's a little laid up. You know, I... I think Sony Michelle is going to be more important. I, I think Gurley. I, I just think that it's important for to keep New England off the field as much as you can. I love the Rams defense, but the best running defense is a great running offense, right? Because you keep the other team off the field. And I think Gurley, after all the negativity that's come his way, I think he's going to be one of the stars of this game. So I just think it's going to be important for him, and I think he could be the catalyst. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with Todd Gurley mm -hmm. also because of the fact that you know, like you said, he's coming off all this scrutiny of what's wrong with him. Is he hurt or was it something else? We don't know what it is, but he has an opportunity to come out and play well, and he gives them a different advantage. They give them five receivers now instead of four when they come out of, with him coming out of the backfield. Head coaches, Sean McVay coming home, an Atlanta guy, versus Belichick. Who do you guys think has the edge here? I, I mean, I, I think, but I think at the end of the day, it, it's Belichick. And the reason why, not as much to do with his pedigree, it has a lot to do with his team. They've been there. And I, I'm not big on who's been there and all that because any team that wins number one has to start out winning their first Super Bowl. So to me, Belichick is the guy because he has the quarterback that season. So as much as McVay and Golf are at the beginning of this, Tom Brady can go over there and talk to, I mean, Bill Belichick about things that happened in the past and certain adjustments. But I think. I think it doesn't really give him a true advantage, but I think it does help. Well, Terrence was saying earlier that experience doesn't matter. Are you mm -hmm. saying experience does matter? I say it does matter when it's the quarterback and coach dynamic. It doesn't matter because every quarterback that wins a Super Bowl 
has to win there first at some time to get the number two. So Brady had to what? Win his number one to get the number two to get the number three. So I think it's more of a team thing and the dynamic as far as the coaches and the player, that's that. But I don't believe the advantage from being in Super Bowl gives you a true advantage because you got to, everybody has to, their first Super Bowl win. I don't eventually. know because uh, I just feel that with the Patriots and what Brady has and Belichick has, even with that team, is just experience there and know how to handle the situation. Yeah, but once the game starts, you can throw that out. They're, they're out there and they're, they're playing. Well, this is the Georgia Drive Chevy Road to the Super Bowl segment, and this morning we had a chance to speak with Trey Detmering, president of the local Chevrolet Dealers Advertising Association. Thanks for being here with us today, Trey. Tell us what's new with Chevy in 2019. I think Chevy in 2019 um, is best described by choices, the all-new Silverado and uh, Blazer, along with 17 other options to choose from. Now, tell us about the new Chevy Silverado, because I know a lot of people are pumped about the new design. We're really excited about it. It's been really well received by the customer. A um, lot bigger cab, first ever tailgate, because power up and down. Um, Available 420 horsepower, 6.2 engine. Uh, we're really excited about it. Nice, and it goes from the past too. You guys are bringing back the Chevy Blazer. We're really glad to have it back. It's been gone for a while. It's a very athletic look and uh, fun to drive with 305 horsepower. Always has been. You guys kept what works there. And then as far as your crossover game, it's really strong right now. You've got the Equinox, the Traverse. Yeah, we've got six crossovers and SUVs. Three of them are uh, either all new or redesigned, the Blazer and Equinox and Traverse. Now tell me how you guys are staying involved in the community here in Atlanta. You guys obviously get your hands in a lot of the things going on around town. We do. We're a kind of community-based advertising group of 36 dealers from South Atlanta to Blue Ridge. Uh, we, we do a lot through community relationships. One of those with the Braves, we have a youth uh, sports program that allows the youth to have some unique experiences. Um, we also have uh, some things coming up, the Dogwood Festival coming up in May. Uh, it'll be a good chance for people to experience Chevrolet and see what we have to offer. Incredible. Thank you, Trey Chevy. Doing good in the neighborhood. Up next, with all the Super Bowl coverage this week, the Georgia Bulldogs was a topic that Coach Belichick addressed. How does he feel about Kirby Smart's program? Hear what he said after the break. I'm here with the Cortezes, Lawson's, Carnivales at their family reunion to show them the family of Chevy SUVs. This is the Trax, the Equinox, and the Traverse. Which one's your favorite? The Trax, actually. More compact. Equinox is jumping out at me. If I wanted to be a cool dad, the Traverse. I like the blue one. The red one. And I would take that Traverse. Luckily, no matter what you want in an SUV, Chevy has the perfect one for you. I think you got it covered. <laughs> Qualified lessees can get this well-equipped Chevy Traverse for around $329 a month. Georgia drives Chevy. Find new roads. Athletes of all levels experience more wear and tear than most. Stop playing through the pain. Get the proper medical attention you need from Dr. El Amin and the staff at the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Our team includes specialists in many fields offering compassionate care and advanced treatments that will get you back in the game. From weekend warriors to athletes of all levels, we've got your back and shoulder and ankle and knee. Call today for an appointment or visit theshouldernation.com. This is our safe deposit room, our most secure area. Good. And the lasers? Lasers? For when someone lowers from the air vents? Are they on now? Anything down there? Echo, echo. Your things will be very safe here. OK, then. Let's put this in one of the boxes way up high. This is $5. When I play the Power 5 Scratcher, could be 500000 Do you need a picture of my eyeball? I'm good. OK. Win up to $500,000 with the Power 5 Scratcher from the Georgia Lottery. Tonight, come get your Longhorn favorites. The Outlaw Ribeye, the Parmesan Crusted Chicken, the Longhorn Salmon, the feeling, the flavor, the place. Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. Today's University of Georgia report is being brought to you by This Is It Barbecue and Seafood. Welcome back to the show. Well, Bill Belichick had a few words for Kirby Smart. It looks like he thinks maybe the Georgia football program is a, a prep place for his players. What do you guys think about this? Let me give you uh, Bill Belichick's voice. I think Kirby's program is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> to prepare guys for the National Football League. You know he said it all dry, but that's a grand endorsement. So when it comes to signing day, that might push guys their way. 
I mean, you got to give a lot of credit to Kirby and the staff and what they've done in the short time here. But to me, it starts with the philosophy of Nick Saban. The same guys they prepared, it, and I hate to go back to that, but Kirby has learned a lot. Remember, they were getting it built. He was learning all this stuff when he was at Bama. But you're talking about a testimonial. If you're a player that's visiting Georgia, I mean, credit to um, Belichick and credit to Kirby for having that. But that right there, that is going on in the front of every brochure. That is going to every mama. That's going to every kid. But much respect to Kirby and Georgia, man, because T. That speaks volumes coming from Bill Belichick. Well, you have the Georgia players that's playing in New England and doing a very fine job for them. You try to give them a testimonial because mm. they're in a Super Bowl with Georgia players. That's right. Absolutely. Running back you, but Georgia always had good plays, even when Rick was the coach and back when Dooley was coaching. So, but it's a good testimonial for Smart. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to shift our focus over to the NFL draft. It's all coming up on Play to Win. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. When the food is so delicious, you make noise. Bring on the noise. This is it. Back by popular demand, this is it barbecue and seafoods, two for 27. Two entrees, four sides, two drinks, two desserts, two for 27. Order online now. Check in, look here. You should have stayed an egg, homie. We've owned a few different houses through the years. Your company was absolutely the best. They were so professional. Everything they did, they didn't get a mark on a wall or anything else. It was clean, it was friendly, and it was fun. And most of the time, moving is not fun. I'm going to give a great recommendation to Atlanta Peach Movers. It's always on time and it's always professional. There is no tree in Atlanta Peach Movers. To schedule your move, call Atlanta Peach Movers today. Fuel your football. Come to Mellow Mushroom for craft brews, fresh cocktails, and stone-baked pizzas. Or Mellow at your own home gate. Tailgating? No matter who wins, it's always Mellow for the win. Fuel your football with Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers. Psst. Hey. You, the one with the designer dog collar. Wondering how I upgraded to this sweet pad? A 1,200 square foot bathroom and my very own spa. All I had to do was give my human the look. With Wells Fargo's 3% down payment on a fixed rate loan and a simpler online application, getting into my dream home was easier than ever. Get your human to visit wellsfargo.com slash woof. What would she do without me? Today's show is being brought to you by Georgia Lottery and McDonald's. Today's SEC and ACC report is being brought to you by Nissan. Welcome back. I can't believe it's already time to do this, but we need to take a look at some of the NFL draft prospects here at quarterback. I'm going to start with you, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Who intrigues you? I know you had all the opinions <laughs> yeah, about whether or not Kyler Murray mm -hmm. should have played baseball. Well, Kyler Murray really intrigues me, the Heisman Trophy winner out of Oklahoma. There's something called the eye test in the National Football League. It's kind of like an old tradition where you want him to look the part. So he's short, you know, he can make throws, but to me, I think there'll be some challenges for him in the National Football League because the eye test, he's a little shorter than most quarterbacks I think I've ever seen. Now. I mean, I know Doug Flutis did well. I know Baker Mayfield, some of the other guys, but I'm intrigued by him. I hope he makes it, but it's going to be interesting to see how where he gets drafted at, but a lot of folks have him first round. Be careful talking about short people next to me. <laughs> I like Will Greer. I think he's terrific. Great arm. He runs great. He's a winner. I mean, to me, he's the number one quarterback coming out of college. All right, guys. Well, when we come back, we're going to check in with Dr. Elamine and his player injury report. Stay with us. This is it. <laughs> <gasps> Hi, sleepyhead. Hey, hey, on campus. Oh. Just dropping by for a little weekend hang time. Mm. Smaller than I thought. Um, do I know you guys? Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do you know the people who sent you to college? <laughs> How's the GPA? Uh, 4.0. Nobody's perfect. Janet, huh? what are you doing? Sorry, so disorganized. <laughs> He's not three years old anymore. Play the Georgia Lottery and help students go to college on the Hope Scholarship. They may not be your kids, but it kind of feels that way. Fuel your football. 
Come to Mellow Mushroom for craft brews, fresh cocktails, and stone-baked pizzas. Or mellow at your own home gate. Tailgating? No matter who wins, it's always mellow for the win. Fuel your football with Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers. Psst. Hey, you. The one with the designer dog collar. Wondering how I upgraded to this sweet pad? A 1,200 square foot bathroom and my very own spa. All I had to do was give my human the look. With Wells Fargo's 3% down payment on a fixed rate loan and a simpler online application, getting into my dream home was easier than ever. Get your human to visit wellsfargo.com slash woof. What would she do without me? Today's player medical and injury report is being brought to you by the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. back to play to win now this injury report matters more than any other because this is the super bowl That's dr right. e so That's tell right. us the patriots look pretty healthy they're the very win. healthy i mean they actually reported last week they had no injuries but today they just came out saying that malcolm brown the defensive tackle has pretty much a calf injury but he should play but you know they're pretty healthy this year which is really cool they're probably the first super bowl team that's reporting healthiness Wow. In yeah. comparison with the Rams, though. Yeah, we got some problems there. Well, you know, as C.J. Anderson, the running back, as well as Johnny Heckler, their um, punter, basically just got cleared to play. So okay. they should be part of the game. But the question becomes, there's still injuries associated with the kicker, Greg Zerlin, the kicker from the, that scored the last point. The 50-yard field goal. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. He basically has been wearing a boot. He has a foot injury. So the question of it is, is what's going to happen long term, or if this comes down to the last to part of the game? Time, That's right. right. He's going to have some issues. Issues. I mean, so hopefully he can still kick. We're going to find out. Interesting, there's still a lot of controversy with Todd Gurley. The question is, what's going on with him? Well, we know he's he going to play. Yeah, he's going to play. Yeah. But the question is, will he be 100%? We know he's nursing a knee injury. We know he's coming off an ACL injury before he became with the Rams. So the question of it is, is this inflammation thing he's talking about, is it resolved? Will it come back? We're going to find out. So as a doctor, do you see them doing any sort of um, rehabbing Absolutely. or treatments I mean, that alarm you or make you think that there's more going on? Well, what I do is we've noticed that Gurley's practices have been a little slower. He's been doing a little bit more rehab that people have been noticing that they've been putting on social media and so forth, things like that. This kind of thing with this type of knee injury, depending on if he cuts the wrong way, this could really, really have some effects on him. But, you know, he's tough. He should be able to do it. Wow, controversy still going on even this close to the end of everything. When you come back, we'll have some final thoughts. Don't go anywhere. It's Play to Win coming up. Athletes of all levels experience more wear and tear than most. Stop playing through the pain. Get the proper medical attention you need from Dr. El Amin and the staff at the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Our team includes specialists in many fields offering compassionate care and advanced treatments that will get you back in the game. From weekend warriors to athletes of all levels, we've got your back and shoulder and ankle and knee. And Call today for an appointment or visit theshouldernation.com. I'm here with the Cortezes, Lawson, Carnivales at their family reunion to show them the family of Chevy SUVs. Woo! This is the Trax, the Equinox, and the Traverse. Which one's your favorite? The Trax, actually. More compact. Equinox is jumping out at me. The blue one. The red one. And I would take that Traverse. No matter what you want in an SUV, Chevy's got the perfect one for you. You got it covered. Qualified lessees can lease this well-equipped Chevy Equinox for around $219 a month. Or get $4,500 total cash allowance on select Equinox vehicles in stock when you purchase and finance with GM Financial. This is our safe deposit room, our most secure area. Good. And the lasers? Lasers? For when someone lowers from the air vents? Are they on now? Anything down there? Echo, echo. Your things will be very safe here. OK, then. Let's put this in one of the boxes way up high. This is $5. When I play the Power 5 Scratcher, could be 500000 Do you need a picture of my eyeball? I'm good. Okay. Win up to $500,000 with the Power 5 Scratcher from the Georgia Lottery. Tonight, come get your Longhorn favorites. The Outlaw Ribeye, the Parmesan Crusted Chicken, the Longhorn Salmon. The feeling, the flavor, the place. Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. Today's showdown of the week is being brought to you by the Georgia Lottery.
Welcome back. It's moment of truth time today for our Super Bowl showdown game. I want to know who you guys all think is going to win the Super Bowl. I'm going to take the Rams. Excited for McVay to come back to Atlanta. Super unexcited to see another Patriots win. I think the Rams. I think the Rams are going to come out execute. I think Gurley's going to run the ball. I think the Rams will stop the run. I think the Rams, they're going to win a Super Bowl. I think uh, Golf and McVay bring a ring back in the championship back to L.A. I'm going to go with the Rams, but a little differently. I'm going to pick the Patriots because every time I, <laughs> <laughs> because every time I bet a, you know, pick against the Patriots, they win. So I'm going to go with the Patriots, expect them to lose, and Rams win. Superstitious okay. guy. I feel you. I was going to switch to the Rams, but since they're all going Rams, I'm going to go with the Patriots, and I'm going to go with them legit. They're going to just beat the Rams, and everybody's going to be mad that Tom Brady gets another ring. Now, Jeffrey, your opinion is usually the only one that matters, so drum roll, that. pick this one for us, would you? The key to the game is Donald and Sue. Remember this, when the Giants beat Patriots twice, Brady does not like to get hit, and these guys are going to hit him. Even if he throws the ball, hit him. I like the Rams, take the two and a half points. 28 <laughs> times, a record oh. for hits, yep. O.C., Strahan, that whole crew, you're right, Jeff. Yep. 28 Just times a record, they hit he seven sacks on he, Brady. He doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to yeah. change my pick there. I'm okay. going with the Rams. <laughs> L.A., West Side, let's go. Yeah, he's from L.A. He's from, from L.A. He's from L.A. I'm a Raiders Coast. fan growing up. No. What? But you're still from the West Coast. So, West Coast, let's go. Let's go, Cali. <laughs> I switched. Man, you always do that to us, Bob. Who are you picking? I picked the Rams. Oh, okay. I like I like McVay. He's a local guy. I just I'm, right. so, I'm so sick of the Patriots. I don't want him doing that to us in our crazy. house. Guys, I just want to thank you all so much for staying tuned with us all football season. We'll see you next football year on football's play to win. Make sure in the off season you're following all of us on social media. That's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Carrier Pigeon, Fax Machine, all the things, and of course. <laughs> Play to win. And I just want to also thank Chattahoochee Technical College for all of the people here that have made this show possible season after season. We want to acknowledge the great students and producers and, of course, the great Phil Isaacs. Let's take a look at everybody. Today's show has been brought to you by This Is It Barbecue and Nissan.